out there who start their diets when there are no more Twins games at Target. Defense for the Twins with Matt Walner back in the lineup in left field. Willie Castro in center. Max ball game last night. Swing and a miss, two and one. I mentioned it too. Walner chasing it, and he gets there. Tracks it down nicely in the corner. The rotation. And right on the edge of the track, Luke Rayleigh makes the catch. That oh, Ryan got smoked. Bear hands it, safe it. VP. And Walls with the catch. Both. Ju Dribbles it up the line. He'll try to hustle down the line, and he'll get a base hit. Three hitless innings for Joe Ryan. Now on the reverse side of things to say about Zach Littell saying that he's one of those guys that's a true team player always took everything give the race credit you give him deep to the bullpen and gone tonight driven to the game and Lau has an extra base by Castro and the twins have just started now a Rosarena back about second base and that one not hit as sharply as the one that stung him and the left field Looked like they had a double play there if Correa had almost didn't get it open in time. Popped up. And out of play. Right over the back. Low throw. Dug out nice. They're hoping he's going to come back. Pinto with his fifth home run of the year. Well, he took a beating by. And again, Brent respecting the arm of Wall. Big league caliber. Big pop up. Barely in the outfield grass. Young guys who aren't expensive yet, and you know, All right? So, kind of there we go. They have a lot of youth at the big league level, and they're running wild, and that's a big part of their game. Nice little wrinkle to it. Well, I talked with Louie the other day after he was recalled and knew his fastball in an attempt to throw something with velocity that had a little downward movement and one. I mean, that's execution to a T right there. You call that X in the court. And another strikeout. He cleaned up the mess in the fifth and now has a couple of quick rattled. Just missing outside. Walls, the batter. Undergo a little bit of a facelift here with Varla Narded. And a good outing for him with Wichita. Two and one. And not two and two. Yeah, the challenge is if guys who have been here. Oh. Good inning for Louis Varla. He strikes out the side in the top of the three. One, two, three innings. He's given up two hits, an infield hit to Correa, and a home run to Julian. And foul. And now 17 of 18 first pitch efficient and out. So many swings and misses. Well, it's just, it's quality. Two. Chasing. Now he's normally not a big strikeout. And Julian takes the first pitch this time. It's in a deep. Dribble to first. Two down. Rays picked up Littell on waivers from Boston. He started the year with the Rangers. And then teach them some things, develop them. Player than the Tigers ever imagined. But usually if you trade with the Rays. One, two. My thought is if you ever have a chance to make a trade with the Rays, they're having an impact at the big league level. But I think what they do and what they know, they view there, and then they take that. You know, what's this guy do? Well, he's got great extension on that fastball, or he's got a bit. First three ball count for Littell. And a foul on three. Half foul. Pop seems for Meade. And he has room on the warning track. Another sitting around 97, 98 in this outing, but that cutter has really been sharp in front of the pin. That was our T-Mobile coast-to-coast coverage cam. And Garland uh, Pinto, <laughs> and then Meade on the outfield grass. One away. You know what? Garland working quickly. Getting some quick outs. Five up, five down. More uncomfortable. You look up and it seems like they're starting their motion. You're getting in the box. You, 
make you ready. One and one. Well, a home run to give the Rays a two to one lead. Now a sharp sell. Did catch. There we go. Side him up. One and one. The other chest swing foul. We have to get him catching some of those first pitches. He's standings and cut Baltimore's lead to two games. And I'm sure everybody coming out of Springs. This guy's held it, didn't get the call. Rant out at second. And from seven batters. Three ball counts. And Solano flips one foul. And just continue. That's plenty of time. And uses almost all of it. Taking low, ball one. Hey, there it is. Look at his his stuff and, and why why he gets the foul balls, four seed fastballs. Kepler with a swing and a miss. And I think so. You look okay. That's not the Kepler driven for a base hit. Not so much driven as loop to right. every once in a while, but it gives you a chance to hit a few more pitches and, and strike one on the outer edge. Popped up back and out of play. Two strikes. But out of the way. Correa strikes out. What I was going to say is. Yeah, 0 for, 1, or 0 for 1 so far this year. Years past. Driven to the game. And gone! Turns the game around. That was a bomb. In the dirt to Walner, ball one. In the nearly five games that the Twins have played with the Rays, they've 95 and a foul back. Sharp Julian, rather. Walner digging for two, and he's in with a double. I can turn on something, I can square it up, I can hit it hard, and clear. Smothered by Pinto. Farmer dribbles it towards short. And that'll wrap it up. One and up. Oh. In there a strike. You might have to call the rest of this inning while I figure out if I want on this. Lau to second. And Farmer makes the play easily one away. Couple runners on. Fouled away by a Rosarena. And then you turn it over to the to the familiar faces at the end. It, so Jack's warming up, I would imagine, in the event Paredes hits with a man. Swung on and missed one and two. Popped up, and it'll reach the seats. And the Cardinals beat the Orioles. Way out in front. Backed it up to 74 miles per hour. Wow. Low ball one. Ask you one to the bag. Solano. Vasquez has struck out twice. He's facing Kittredge here, leading off the twin. One and one. It can become a grind, and then all of a sudden you get away from it a couple days, and you really miss it. And... Diving attempt by Walls, but it got by him, and the leadoff man is on here in the eighth. Up and away, ball one. In terms of his aggressiveness and his speed. And now 3 0 with Lewis on deck. And he'll take a four pitch walk. Twins have a beautiful double header yet this year. And the last time they played an entire season without. But it's a that is incredible though. Well, you know, I asked Rocco about it. A strike in its own two to Lewis. And Lewis is down on three pitches. That'll bring up Solano. First and second one down. All right. Got a good vibe about this, and I want you. 
fouled away and it's and I'll match your bet with my with my popped and field fly rules called two down it's the lefty because his best pitch is his change up he throws about half the time and it's a real good one nearly hit him he's very deceptive he jumps right three and oh Correa on deck yeah that's that Right okay. down the middle at 81. Ooh, boy. And now. You got a chance to. Come through late in the moment like this. He's done it plenty of times this year, but those who aren't aware, it's going to be a fastball that averages 102. That's good pitching performance by the guys in front of him. He's going to have his work cut out. Proceeded to do. Just that rest of the way. Down and away, a breaking. Off the middle. Farmer gets in front of it, throws him out. Ball one. Rayleigh, the batter, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Now Correa's chance. Charging. Firing two down. Check swing. No, ball one. Two and one. Full count. If Rayleigh reaches, the magic number is ten. He's come off that injury and paternity list. Another big swing, long home run to right center field. And the Twins end up winning a ball game. Twins Live postgame comes your way next.